Actually, I guess, the church has been incredibly supportive of Occupy Toronto. Does it put you in a difficult situation now when, when there are also people, residents, who are feeling concerned about what's happening there? No, we did not invite people, to, the people from Occupy Toronto, to come. When they came, we've treated them with dignity and hospitality. Um, and we've asked them to reciprocate not only to the cathedral community, but to people around about. Uh, that measured um, approach, I believe, has been productive. And so our, the Toronto occupation has been, I think, marked by a certain peacefulness and cooperation, which I, uh, I'm very happy about. What did your congregation say to you about what they see when they come to church on Sunday? They, they are custom, things like this happen around the cathedral from time to time, so they're not unduly upset about that. Uh, what they say is that they recognize that this is not about a tidy park. This is about a socio-economic issue. Um, the imbalances that we have in society and the residual outfall from that. So they are remarkably supportive. And I would want to say not only the cathedral community, but people by and large who have been calling us, emailing us, in touch with us, are very supportive of that, the economic focus of what this began with. Uh, this is not lost on the governor of the Bank of Canada, Bob Ray, everybody recognizes. In fact, one of the heads of the banks has said, this is a legitimate concern that needs to be addressed. And so I see this as the beginning of a conversation uh, that I hope and trust will be productive for all concerned, both the financial structures, the government, as well as for people who, are, are atta who feel the, 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 the financial problems of our society, and particularly the very vulnerable. But does it concern you when you're here and you see the, you can smell pot as you're walking down there, the out drinking, as well as, as well as the social issues, but also some of the more um, occupy aspects? It's not occupy. This is a park at Center Ice in Toronto. People have been smoking pot in this park before you were born. You're telling me to grow up. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's a part of it. But it's not being out of hand. Uh, it's not posed a problem. Um, we are not concerned with that. So the police have been here and you've had meetings with them. You've had meetings with social workers and local counselors. Will you provide a tangible safe haven for people? If police move in, will you open the doors and let them stay? We are working with the police and with the city our aim, our goal, and our prayer is that this be resolved peacefully. Uh, and that is where we are going to work with all of our energy for as long as we can. But if it doesn't work that way and someone and that's, hy that's hypothetical and we'll deal with that when it comes up. You mentioned something about using this park in a greater way involving both uh, Bay Street and, and St. Jamestown. But well, not necessarily the park, but the cathedral itself has been a center for over 200 years where people have come with divergent views to have them expressed and to express them with a confidence and comfort uh, that they're not going to be attacked or vilified. It's a, it's a safe haven for people to speak and converse. And we are committed to that and we will continue that. And we want to continue that as we go forward from here with a bit of help from Bay Street people as well as from Occupy Toronto people and other people in the city, certainly Pam McConnell and the mayor. That conversation needs to go on if we're going to have a healthy society.